Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2024 and the Port Vale save. We're on part three today. I did say I was going to end up doing the strikers finally, but I'm just going to manage to get done the midfielders today because the last video is quite long. So we're going to carry on with the players and their attributes. Just going back quickly, we can see that we've done the goalkeepers and the left defenders and the central defence and the right defenders. So we're going to start with the next three positions, which are going to be left midfield, central midfield and right midfield. So we'll carry on from where we left off. So the next player we're going to look at, remember that we don't use DM and we don't use WB. So this player is natural in the centre of midfield. And his age is 31, so he will be a senior player. Funzo Ojo. And his nationality is Belgian. 31 is his age. And in the next column, remember, that's the potential. So at 31, there won't be any potential. The contract is here to the end of the 2026 season. And he is on 3,500 per week. So let's go back to his positions. There's two that we need to put down. Yes, he is MC natural. And he is also DR competent. So that's the MC. Remember when you fill this part in, the competent is in pink. But you still have to put another box in pink there to see what the points would be if you play him in that position. And now it's time to add up again. So we'll start with the technicals. So the technicals come to 138. And his mentals come to 178, which is really good. And his physicals are 82, so 398 for this player. Remember that we need someone that's going to be above 383 to keep us up. And there's one player that will... Supposedly, they do a good job for us. Let's have a look at the estimated value. You take the natural figure of 398 and the age of 31 into the player values tab. Use the second column across for the players. So 398. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. So that tells me he's worth just over a million pounds. And when we press the return button, it says that his wages should be three, three, four, seven. But well, they're quite close, 3,500, but it would still be a pink to go across that as to say he was being paid too much, but not too badly. And let's see what he is actually worth. Well, they reckon he's worth about 75,000. So I don't know if you remember what we did in the last episode, 
But if you think this player is worth a million pounds, you go into transfer status. Come down to the asking price. Put a million in there and save it. And you can see here that the transfer value has now changed to a million. Coming back to this side, asking price, my client feels that that asking price is way above his value. But we're not worried about what he thinks, we're worried about getting money in for the club. And if anybody wants him, that would be our asking price of a million pounds. Now, beginning to work our way down, the next player we got, this is all over the place. And he is, in fact, a striker. So we're not going to work his form out, but we are going to just put him in to the strikers when we come to do them. Just in case we forget. Now, the next player we look at, the one in blue here, means he's on loan to us from another club, which happens to be Sheffield United. Again, he plays two positions. One's a defensive midfielder that we don't do in a 4-4-2. And the other one, yes, he is a natural in a central midfield. And his age is 19. So we will put him in the under-21 squad. And that's Oliver Ablaster. The nationality there is English. And don't forget, in this side, you need to put loan in blue tell you that he is on loan from another club. It seems to end up looking like a rainbow. This You don't have to do it. You don't have to use these colours. But it's something over the years that I've got used to. So, 19 years of age. It's now six years before he reaches 25 at nine points per season. So the potential could be up to 54. Now, his contract runs out on the 30th of the 5th, 2024, because he's only on loan, and we're paying £800 a week for him, which is, well, we'll find out whether that's good in just a moment. But we're going to add the technicals. And that becomes 126. And now the mentals. And that is 165. And the physicals. Is 84. So 375, a little bit under what we want. He's basically the top of League Two player. But he does have that magical figure at the end here of 429, which is above the 424 that you would need for a player with good potential. So I don't think he's ever going to play for Sheffield United. But it looks like he could get up to a top of a championship player. So, points. 375 to the age of 19. Back into the player value. So, 375, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I think he's worth somewhere in the region of about 2.7 million. 751776. And return. 
and it tells me he should be on somewhere around 9,000 a week. So to get him on loan at this club for 800 is massive. It's a very good signing. Then our next player also in blue means he's on loan from another club and this happens to be Tottenham. And this is Alfie Devine. He does play DM and AMC, but not for a 4-4-2. So again, he's another one that plays central midfield and he's 18 years of age. And I have put him in the under 21. He's English. He will only have one position to worry about naturally. So 18 years of age, seven years till he reaches 25, times the nine is 63. So possible potential for Alfie. He is here until the 31st of May, 2024. And we are paying 2,100 per week for him. Seems to be valued at a lot of money there, 22 million. Well, that's the point. Let's just go back to this guy before. I just want to see what he was worth. They had him down as 3 million. There we go. That was one that we said that should be around 2.7 million. So, drop in again. This guy on loan. That's that done. Now into Alfie Devine's technicals. That comes to 137, so slightly better than Oliver R. Blaster at the moment. We've got 160 for the mentals. And 98 for the physicals. So, wow, yeah, he's on 395. Another player that's good enough for Paul Vale. And going down to the player values, 395. For 18. Yeah, I've got him worth nearly 7.1 million. And when we return that, I think he should be on somewhere in the region of £23,000 per week. He is here on 2100 So again, we've got him at a snip. And he is also a top player for the age of 18 with potential. So possibly could get up to 458. So into the player stats, 458 tells me that he could be playing bottom of the Premier League. So perhaps Sheffield United, Luton. Burnley, someone out of the teams that come up last season, maybe he could be good enough potentially to play for one of those clubs. So moving on, our next player here is Daniel Mahaffey. And again, does play DM, but we don't use that position. And he will be an MC. He's 17 years of age. So that's Daniel Mahaffey. 
English. While I'm down this end, we'll put him in as a natural MC. That's the only position. 17 years of age, he has eight years before he gets to 25, so a possible potential of 72. His contract is going to run out at the end of the season and is on a youth contract of £220 per week. And his technicals. Sixty one. Is one hundred and one. And his physicals is seventy one. So it adds up to 233 for the player rating, and he's only 17, but his totals there, even with the potential, is 305, never ever going to play for Port Vale. But 233 to 17, let's put that in, 15 16. That says he's worth 2,377. And his wages should be about eight pounds. So that tells you that he isn't any good at all. But if we manage to get six players before him in the list, then being 17 years of age, he can go out on loan. Next player we're going to have a look at is Reese Walters. We don't play AMC, we don't play DMs, so his natural position and only position will be central midfield. He is 17 years of age. Reese Walters. And his English looks a bit of like a carbon copy of Daniel Mahaffey. Right, so 17 there with 72 potential. And his contract, pretty much the same, runs out at the end of the season, £220 a week. And we'll start off with his technicals. Which comes to 109. And his mentals. Which is 137. This isn't bad for a 17 year old. And that is 78. So 324. And is 17. Could get up to somewhere near 396 if everything went well, which would be a League One player towards the playoffs. So it's not bad for 17. 324. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and I've got him worth over four hundred thousand. So when we turn that, it tells me he could be on fourteen hundred pounds a week. So two hundred and twenty is okay. 
He's not going to be a world beater, but he could well be playing for Port Val. And of course, if we've got six players above him, because that's what we need to have at the club, then we would consider maybe using him in the first team. Right, our next player we look at is a 28-year-old and again plays MC, can't play ML, can't play WBL and can't play DM. So his natural position will be central midfield. That's Connor Grant. Now we're just going to put him in as a natural MC. But when we go back to look at him here, he does play DL and ML, but only competent. So if you decide that you wanted to play him in that position, you would have to look for the figure here. If we go back to the player above that, which is Funzo Ojo, if you didn't want to play him in an MC role and you wanted to train him up to be a DR, he is competent in that position. But instead of 398 points natural, he would drop to 358 because he isn't a natural natural player for DR. And as I say, you would have to retrain him. Right, so going back to Connor Grant. First of all, he's English. 28 years of age, so no potential to come after the age of 25. Uh, we've got him until the end of the 25 season and his wages are £3,000 a week. And now we're going to do his attributes. That comes to 159. Then we're going to work on the mentals. And that comes to 165. And the physicals is 86. And that is our best player at the club so far. That's 410 points. Should be playing mid-table in the championship. So I think we've got another great player here. I don't know what's happening to him in real life. But they're not doing very well. Right, so 410 and 28 years of age. So 410 is there, and then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And I've got him valued at about 2.6 million here. Yeah. When we return, yeah, he should be on about 8,700 per week as opposed to 3,000. So that's another good signing. And let's just have a look at what he is valued here. Right, around 190,000. So yet again, I would go into the transfer status. I would make him 2.6 million and confirm. You will see that's changed to 2.6. 
and it says that my client feels unhappy basically about the asking price way over what it should be when we go back in there you'll see that the price has changed up here so if anybody now makes a bid you haven't got to worry about anyone coming in at 190,000 All right, continuing down. We've got a player here we're going to do next who is out for three to four months. So instead of putting him in the team, we're going to put him basically where it says listed, loaned, and injured. He'll go there for now. And his name's Tom Conlon. And plays for DM and AMC, so those two we don't need. He is natural MC and competent ML. And that's that. Now we need to put in injury. Try to keep this in with the right colours. Now Tom Conlon is English. He is 27 years of age. So past the potential, and I need to uh, put that there, because he's still a senior player even though he's not in the squad at the moment. And there his contract runs out at the end of this season, and he's on £1,700 a week, but we're not going to see a lot of him. He's going to be out, I would say, around that four-month mark. And his technicals. Which is 143. And his mentals. It's 168, and the physicals is 85. So again, we have another player that's at the top of his game here, 396. But unfortunately, he's injured, so he won't be doing anything for us. Right, 396 and 27 years of age. And again, I've got him worth 1.9 million. And when we return that, it tells us it should be on 6,400 per week. So it's another player within that catchment. Again, it's worth 120,000 into the transfer status and we would change that to 1.9 million and there we go you see I've done that and there it is so if anyone comes in again they'll be expecting higher than 190,000 or 120,000 even Continuing down, 
our next player is also another MC. I do like an MC here. AMC and DM will not be playing in that position. But he is competent as a striker. So Ben Garrity. Put him in as a natural MC and a competent striker, just in case we do want to move him into a different position, retrain him. He's English, he's 26, so there's no potential on that, and I suppose. You wouldn't really want to start training him at 26 for a different position either. Now he's here till the end of the 2025 season. And his wages is 1,500 a week. And we'll move into the technicals. Which is 125. You can add these up on a calculator if you prefer. And that comes to 169. And the physicals. And that's 101. I think that's the highest one we've had so far in the physicals. And yet again, 395. Good player for this side. 26 years of age. So we'll go into the player values. 395 to 26. Another one that's worth 1.9 million in my estimation. And return on that says he should be on over 6,000 a week and he's on 1,500. So, yet another good player we've got. Garrity. Still got a few more to go through yet. And here doesn't play any of these positions, which is the AM positions. So we'll play MC. That the MC he will play will be accomplished. Until you retrain him, he will be on these points, not on the natural points. But when we go to estimate his value, we estimate him on the natural points. So he's 24 years of age, Ethan Chislett. Also, he can play ML and MR competent, so we will put him in for those positions as well. Okay, so he's 24, one year to go before he's 25 on the potential, so a plus nine. He's here till the end of the 2025 season, and he's on £1,600 a week. There is something frightening that I've got to show you, and I might as well show you as we go down now. When you go down to the wages here, you'll see that the totals outgoing at the moment are 14640 
and we've only got 10,101 to spend. So we're 4,539 over budget for the MCs at the moment. So I will show you what we're going to have to do for that, but we will finish doing all the players' points for every other position for the midfielders before we go back and have a look. But we'll start with the technicals. So the technicals there are 142. And that is 144 for the mentals and the physicals are 85. So again, if he was natural for us, it would be 371. So he still would be the worst one there. But at the moment, he's worse still because he's only accomplished in his best position for us, a 352. But we're going to take the 371 natural with 24. And that tells us he's worth just over a million pounds. And his wages should be somewhere around 3,400. But he's only on 1,600, so that's good. But by the time we put all these players in order, we're going to find that Ethan Chislett will not be in those top four. And I don't think Oliver Arblaster will be either, but he's on loan, so we will have to keep him. Right, now, one of our players here in purple denotes that he's out on loan. Doesn't look too bad of a player. And he would only be playing MC for us. So we'll put him in natural. And that's Tommy McDermott. And he's English. He's 18. So he will be an under-21 player. And seven years to go to 25 at nine points is possibly an extra 63 on potential. And he is here until 2025 and is on 500 pounds a week. Before I do anything here, let's just put loan there. When he's loaned out, I've got him in purple. And the one thing you've got to do here is see how much that we're getting for the contract. And you can see that Rochdale have taken him for £500 a week. So here in the player loans, you just put 500 and that will take that off of your balance. And his points, starting with the technicals, which is 102 and mentals
is 159. And in his physicals is 87. So 348. And can build himself up to 411. So he could be a useful player at the club. And his estimated value, that's the 348 natural points with his age of 18. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Tells me he's worth over a million pounds. And he could be on anything up to three and a half grand. Well, we know he's on five hundred pounds. But he is worth. In our book, there are half a million. We've got him worth a million. So, if anybody wanted to come in for him, into the transfer status, change the unspecified to a million, and confirm. Now, they do like moaning players, they never think they're worth what you want them to be, but when they sign, they come easy. Next player we're going to look at is a youth player, only 16, but again, only position plays is MC Natural. And that's Liam Razia. English, 16 years of age, 9 years off of 25, and 9 nines are 81. So, a possible potential there. His contract runs out at the end of 24, and he's on a youth contract of £220 a week. So, let's start with his technicals. Which is 65. Don't forget, young players' points will be a lot lower than players of 25 or even 30. And that is 90 for the mentals and the physical. Is 66. So you can see he's way off, 221 at 16, but even with the potential, he's not going to be a player for Port Valley. So 221 to 16 in the player value. Means he could be worth £1,090. And that's four pounds a week. So that's the first player that we've had to put in pink for a while. Everybody else is pretty much good enough at this club. And we're beginning to get down to the last few now. Andrew Bush. Okay, we don't play any of these positions. So he will become a striker, even though he's only competent. Andrew Boer. And as we're not touching the strikers, we will just put his name in there and leave that. Next player, again, we don't play any of the AMLs, AMRs, or the AMC, 
So he will become an MC. But this time he's only competent and we will have to train him up to become a central midfielder. And this is Joao Silva Pavide. Portuguese. Another one with a contract, 16 years of age at the end of 2024 with £220 youth contract. With an 81 potential. So we'll start with his technicals. That is 84. And that is 83 for the mentals. And the physicals is 61. So, another player that even if he was at the top of his game at the moment, on natural ability, would be 228, but he's on 205. This is mostly one of the worst players we've got at the club. And even the potential tells us he's not going to make a player for full back. So, we take the natural points of 228, along with the age. 16 tells us he's worth 1746. I think these three players here are going to end up being strikers. So let's have a look. Yep, they all will be. So that is the last player that we're going to do today. You can see we don't have anybody at all in the ML and we don't have anybody at all in the MR. So where we're way over budget here on the MC, we need to perhaps move players for the time being. We know that Connor Grant can play ML, but he will be up of 369. And we also have Ethan Chislett, who would be off of 334. These wouldn't be good enough to move. So, with nobody in those positions, we would have to start looking to buy for those positions first. So what we're going to do, we're going to change all this round to the highest to the lowest. And then we'll see who is going to be put on the transfer list. So we'll change these in the V column. And at the moment, we have to treat Ethan Shizlet as an MC accomplished on those points. So we know that he is not going to be useful as an MC. So what we're going to do with him, instead of putting him on the transfer list, he can play ML and MR. I'm not saying that's where we're going to leave him. But at the moment, we don't have anybody in those positions whatsoever. So when we go on to Chislet, it says that he plays ML and MR, but he's a preferred right foot. So I will put him 
as an MR. And again, there's a senior player, so it will go up the top there. And Alfie Divine will take his place. So that's done. So you can see the top four now, 410, 398, 395, and 395, all natural position. Then we have Oliver Arblaster on 375. Now we only need six players for this position, so we just need the one more. So we will put these in order, descending order, in the V column again. And that will tell us that Reese Waters will be the best of the rest, if you like. So Daniel Mahaffey will become a youth player. So will Joao Silva Pavide and Liam Brazier. But uh, what we can do with Daniel Mahaffey, because he's 17, we can loan him out. And I'm putting these in a sort of a shade of olive, because when we start the game, we will do all these, put the right players in the right squads, and offer these other players out. Now, players at the moment like Tom Conlon will have to stay at the club because no one would want to buy him anyway. But he will stay down here. And also, Tommy McDermott will stay here because he's not at the club. But what we've got to look at is the money out is 13980 but we've only got a wage budget of 10,101. We have bought 500 in from Tommy McDermott's loan, but it still leaves us 3,379 over budget for this position. So we've got to be looking to move on some players. You can't move on the youth players until they're at least 17. But it wouldn't be worth it anyway at £220. We need to be looking more at the top there. We know we can't sell Alfie Divine or Oliver Arblaster because they're on loan. And it only leaves us the top three. So we are in a little bit of a pickle here because we can't sell Tom Condon at 1700 because he's injured for four months. So the one player that is over on his wages but not by a lot is Funzo Ojo but when you see the points here you don't really want to get rid of any of those so we may be 3379 over there but we haven't spent any money on the MLs of 5051 and we've only spent 1600 on the MR, but once we sort ourselves out, I doubt if we're going to keep him either, Ethan Chislett. So, lots of headaches, lots of things to sort out. But again, that's all the midfielders done. And when I come back for the next episode, we're going to work out the strikers. There's quite a few of those to work out. But what we also need to do when we go back into the game, we need to let's have a look on the home page. We need to sort out these friendlies because I know we've only got four booked in at the moment, but these teams are not going to be for us. All right, we haven't got a team that's good enough for League One. You might as well say we're a League Two team, and even that isn't great. So I will be looking at about three friendlies 
against National League teams to try and get us where we want to go. And as we begin to sign players and let people go as well, then we'll make some friendlies against opposition from League 2. But we won't do any opposition in League 1 because it won't tell us anything. So that's going to be it for today in this episode. And if you want the spreadsheet, just let me know. They are free. So if you want to follow us where we are at the moment, you can do. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do that for me. That would be a big help. And leave a comment and a like as well. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.